It turns out that our planet had an unannounced visitor last week, when asteroid 2020 LD flew by Earth at about 80% of the moon's distance. The asteroid was the size of five blue whales, which is the largest animal on Earth. According to NASA, the asteroid measures about 122 meters in diameter, and it passed our planet at 97,000 kilometers per hour. It flew by Earth on 5th June. What's worse is that no one knew about this asteroid until June 7 when astronomers at the Atlas Telescope in Hawaii saw it and calculated its trajectory. Something similar happened in 2019 when an asteroid flew by Earth undetected. And while asteroids flying between Earth and the Moon's orbit are not a particularly uncommon sight, it appears that 2020 LD is officially the largest asteroid to come within one lunar distance of Earth since 2011. One lunar distance is the distance between Earth and the Moon. It's the 45th largest asteroid to sweep within a lunar distance of Earth so far in 2020. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. According to NASA, comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits, that allow them to enter the Earth's neighborhood. Asteroids are leftover objects from the formation of our solar system from about 4.6 billion years ago. Early on, the birth of Jupiter prevented any planetary bodies from forming in the gap between Mars and Jupiter, causing the small objects that were there to collide with each other and fragment into the asteroids seen today. That is the reason most of the asteroids are found in the region between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Likewise, today's asteroids are the bits and pieces left over from the initial formation of the solar system. While the chances of a major asteroid hitting Earth are small, NASA believes there is a 1 in 300,000 chance every year that a space rock which could cause regional damage will hit Earth. However, NASA estimates that a vehicle-sized asteroid explodes in our atmosphere about once every year. We don't detect many of these because the explosion occurs extremely high in the atmosphere. However, there are some plans on the go which could help Earth against potential asteroid strikes. Protecting Earth from incoming asteroids will be a huge job. There are thought to be only two ways of deflecting an asteroid. The first is to launch a nuclear bomb into space to blast the asteroid away. The second option is a kind of an asteroid strike, we can use a spacecraft to send a heavy object and then smash it into the asteroid. The asteroid will then hopefully be pushed off its trajectory and miss the Earth. However, for the second option to be any practical use, we would have to know the mass, momentum, trajectory, and surface composition of the asteroid. Otherwise, any attempt at deflecting an asteroid would be less than 99% certain to succeed. And when you're talking a planet killer, that's important. A joint European Space Agency and NASA mission will test such technology in the next few years, you can watch our video on it. However, planning for an asteroid strike means two things. You have to find as many asteroids as possible, map their orbits, and select the ones that could be planet killers. Then we have to work out how best to destroy or deflect the asteroid. In short, you need skill and dedication, and lots of space hardware. When it comes to asteroids, so far we have discovered 46 potentially hazardous asteroids. Potentially hazardous asteroids are defined as being larger than 500 feet in diameter. So 2020 LD is not quite considered as a hazardous asteroid, but it was much larger than the asteroid that exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, in 2013. At 66 feet in diameter, that was the biggest meteor for over a century. We can find more asteroids by building more sky survey telescopes. One such telescope is currently being built in Chile, which is designed specifically to find potentially hazardous asteroids.